It's Thursday, campers. Moving down the line. Citigroup announced today its biggest management shakeup since the financial crisis began, replacing its chief financial officer and installing a new banking chief as it prepares to give the government a 34% equity stake. The revolving door that Citigroup's upper management has become spun again amid intense pressure to improve performance, add consumer banking experience, and shed toxic or unwanted assets. Legendary investor Warren Buffett said in an interview aired today that unemployment could hit 11% and a second stimulus package might be needed as the economy struggles to recover from recession. Buffett told ABC's Good Morning America, We're not in a free-for-all, but we're not in a recovery either. Wall Street's reaction? Here are the numbers. Sprint and Nextel said today that Ericsson would manage its network as part of a seven-year deal worth $5 billion under which 6,000 Sprint workers would move to Ericsson. Sprint said that it would keep full control of its network after the deal, adding, This is about improving our customer experience. The Securities and Exchange Commission is going to recommend that IOUs being issued by California be regulated by the Municipal Securities Rulemaking Board as a form of municipal debt. Some of the nation's largest banks said starting Friday they would no longer accept the IOUs. The banks went to pressure the state to end its budget impasse, but their action could leave many businesses and families with fewer options for getting their money. After yet another weak month, retailers are preparing to fight for their share of crucial back-to-school shopping, but they may have to keep discounting to keep consumers coming in, given escalating job uncertainty. Particularly worrisome in today's same-store sales reports, mall-based teen stalwarts like Abercrombie and Fitch were among those hit hardest as families look for bargains. For the Business Press, I'm Dave Kaufman. Join us again tomorrow for another Biz Minute.